Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flame, Journey Charm readings. Let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what message comes through. And if this doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can have a look at one of my other readings. These readings are timeless. I see, um, the first thing I see here is that there's a karmic person who is trying to avoid talking to Divine Masculine. Something about no communication. So, this has to do with the phone, phone call. Divine Masculine may be reaching out to this person, but this person is avoiding Divine Masculine's call. I feel it has to do with, it shows here that Divine Masculine doesn't really know what's happening so out of like curiosity or that like they're kind of eager to know what's happening like what it's it's bothering them for whatever reason it's like why is this person avoiding me why are they not talking there's something going on so this divine masculine is trying to figure out what's happening what's going on why is this person not talking and i see here that this karmic person is avoiding divine masculine's phone calls on purpose the reason being, uh, I feel it has nothing to do with communication. It's more of like to get Divine Masculine in, in this emotional state where they feel like they have to to get, get the attention. It's like to make them eager, to make them um, long for, for information or to long to speak to this person. Is it going to make any difference i don't think so i see here that this is actually going to take opposite effect like whatever this person is doing to get some sort of reaction or response from divine mask at first it may appear as if masculine is is um doing as they hope that divine masculine would do but it shows here that divine masculine will be eventually irritated or or turned off by it i see something about the direction that divine masculine will take will be it's like they will be redirected so this is what's going to cause divine masculine to to shift their focus onto something else I see here Divine Feminine in this reading. It shows here that the new cycle, a lot of it is focused on Divine Feminine. A lot of it has to do with the nature of Divine Feminine. So that redirecting can, can create a focus or a shift in how Divine Masculine sees relationships, how Divine Masculine sees, like what, what does good communication sound like? What does it look like? What does it feel like? And Divine Masculine will be thinking about Divine Feminine when it comes to new beginnings, when it comes to something about how you carry yourself, Divine Feminine. Like they see you very different, how you carry yourself, not only in front of them, carry yourself meaning like how how you are um how you present yourself how you present yourself to divine mask and how you present yourself to others it's very natural it's very beautiful and and this is something that the divine mask will be thinking about something very natural very beautiful about divine feminine here I see here disappointment in self. Divine Masculine will be disappointed in self that they went in a different direction than what they felt they should have done. I see here that 
they felt that when they were with you, there would be commitment. This is a Divine Masculine who knew that if they had stayed in a relationship with Divine Feminine, they know they would have had some strong commitment to Divine Feminine, such as marriage. They seen you as somebody like wife material, husband material. They saw you as somebody who they can have a life with. And they are disappointed in themselves for not moving forward with you. Some cases you two were married or are married. So just take what resonates. But I see here that the old cycle, the new cycle, when they whatever they see, they see that divine feminine is somebody who they could have had a good life with, a good committed relationship with, someone who they can rely on, somebody who is loyal, devoted, devoted to the connection. Right? So notice how I said connection, not relationship. I see here that Divine Masculine, when it comes to reunion, reconnecting with Divine Feminine, there were many opportunities for them to reach out to you. There was one specific time where this divine masculine could have reconnected with divine feminine for reunion but there was something going on within this divine masculine's personal life at home i see here their personal life at home was not as i feel like strong or stable or they basically they were not ready because there was something going on where they didn't feel they had the strength to speak about it they didn't have the strength to move forward at the time with divine feminine because there was so many things that this masculine was dealing with when it comes to the home they knew it would it would require a lot of work on their part to not only step away from whatever the situation was but also the idea of commitment with divine feminine they know the amount of energy the work the time that they have to put into that and this time it's kind of like thinking that the next time i'm with divine feminine i want to do things right i want to give it my all and at that time they were not able to give their all even though they had an opportunity to be with you or to restore the connection they knew that it's not worth it if i'm not able to give my all to divine feminine at this time so they thought it was best to not take that opportunity. The opportunity was there. I see the divine gave divine masculine an opportunity, but it was this divine masculine's lack of confidence and strength to actually do it because this divine masculine felt like they were not ready to, I guess, like stand up for the connection or to, to work for the connection or to build or to grow or to, the energy was not there. Like this was a divine masculine at one point they had the strength to, I feel like, to pursue that, that, that love. But when you stood in front of this divine masculine, it's like their, their weaknesses, the things that they needed to work on, it became highlighted where they felt like they were not strong enough to pursue this, this love that they so desired. And now this divine masculine they're, they are seeing things a little bit different, but there's at the same time, they're dealing with the situation. And I see here that energetically, they are still, there's still some kind of, I, I don't know what it is. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like attachment, but it feels like, like they still have, it actually is it's the other way around it's like something has a grip on divine masculine it's not that they are attached to this karmic situation it's more like the other way around like something has a grip on divine masculine because i see here that this divine masculine's not really understanding like why it really bothers them that this karmic person is not answering their calls or not talking to them the way that they usually do Also, they're thinking about 
how they could have had a beautiful life with Divine Feminine. There is that regret there. Divine Feminine may have written an email, a letter, something in writing. You wrote something to Divine Masculine at the time. When this Divine Masculine was guided to take a step towards re reuniting or reconnecting with Divine Feminine, I see here Divine Feminine may have felt guided to write that note to send something to Divine Masculine, but Divine Masculine's pride got in the way here. I see here after Divine Feminine sent something, Divine Masculine's pride got in the way that created a block. So that's why that reconnect didn't happen because from Divine Feminine's side, I see here guided to send, send that open communication, to have that open com communication with Divine Masculine, to reach out, to send a message. And it's a message of love. I see here guided by the Divine to send a message to Divine Masculine and it it got blocked because of Divine Masculine's pride. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye, everyone.